okay, maybe you've been on self-improvement for a little bit. Maybe you've watched a couple of my videos. Maybe you've watched some other self-improvement videos. Maybe you've been on self-improvement a little bit. But the problem is, it doesn't look like you're making much progress. It doesn't look like you're having much success. Now, I was in this boat um, a couple months ago. Or, a month or a couple months ago. Now, you're wondering, probably... Okay, well, how did you get out of this, this, this hole, this rabbit hole of, like, going up and down, climbing up and out of the hole, out of the hole, oh, and then you fall back in. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain exactly how I did that. And the method I used. Um, so you may... Let's say you're, you've been meditating for a while. Let's say you've been meditating for a while. You're, imp you're improving your health, but it doesn't really look like you're seeing any progress. Well, kind of look at like how, have, look at what you've been doing. You meditated, well, you meditated today. You meditated yesterday. You meditated th the day before that. So why, are, why what's happening? Well, you didn't meditate the day before that. You didn't meditate for a month before that. Oh, but then I meditated a week, but no. You're having a lot of trouble with staying consistent. Let me say it again. You're having a lot of trouble staying consistent. Consistency is the second most important factor of making progress. I'll talk about the first. I'll talk about the, the number one uh, a little bit later. Um, why is staying consistent so important? This is because your staying consistent is so important because when you are consistent, when you're consistently hitting the gym when you're consistently hitting the gym you hit this day you hit it this day for a like a long time this day this day this day this day this day for a, you it takes so long to see progress so you you get sort of annoyed when you don't see progress in the first couple days so you stop doing it because it's like bro like i'm not seeing any progress your mindset you have to change your mindset your mindset should be that, okay, if I just do this every day for, if I just keep doing this every day, sorry, I just burped. <laughs> if I do this every day for, you know, if I do this every day, I will eventually see results. I'll eventually get a good body, like an aesthetic um, physique. Your mindset should be that if you just keep doing it every day, every day, that you'll eventually see results. You have to just trust the process because if you don't see like progress for a week, like if you're doing it for a week, okay, well, you're not going to see progress for a, like after doing it in a week in the gym. I, I was getting so frustrated after just a couple weeks of going to the gym. I was like, bro, I look the same. Like, I was getting frustrated. And so, I still stay consistent. But, there were a few other things. Like, I'm, I've been consistent in the gym ever since I started. That I'm very grateful for. But, there are other things that I was doing. Like, self-improvement things. That I just could struggle. Like, very, was struggling a lot to get consistent with. So, how did I get consistent? Well, I made it fun. I made it, like, I made the hard work fun. Okay, what you're saying, you might be saying right now, wait, 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 wait but, 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 but how, how, how is hard work, how is hard work fun? Well, let me tell you, 
If you have good mental health, then hard work is fun. If you're saying hard work, if you don't like hard work, if you are struggling to like hard work, you either have bad mental health or you're just like have a bad bad mindset or you're doing it wrong. Because hard work should be fun for men. It should be hun fun for most for for the the male or like the male like gender. Because females are not meant to develop like this. A lot of people, like, a lot of females are, like, hardworking. Which, I mean, can be good, but, like, it's not, like, how you're supposed, like, specifically meant to be, like, when humans were first, like, came on the earth. Hard work is meant to be fun for men. And... I just realized that okay yeah I've explained it enough about hard work being fun I don't want to go on too much of a rant about that but basically hard work should be fun. Do the hard work that is fun. So, consistency. We're talking about consistency. Consistency is the best way to make progress. So how do you stay consistent? Well, not the best way, sorry, the second best way. So how do you stay consistent? Consist if you have consistency, you already make like a little bit of progress, but um, think about, talk about later, really like, you'll make a lot of progress if you have consistency if you just keep doing it every every day every day every day every day every day if you go to the gym every day every day for like a couple years you'll like have like an aesthetic physique you'll have an aesthetic aesthetic body A lot of people are like struggle with this because they have very low attention span. This is another thing with um, this is another thing with mental health that we are talking about. So basically, if you want to stay consistent, you have you need to have good mental health, and you need to just trust the process. Trust the process. That is the most the best thing I can tell you for staying consistent. Literally, just trust the process. The things I tell you. I have done before so I'm not gonna tell you anything that I haven't done before I'm not gonna explain anything or tell you how to do anything that I don't already that I haven't already done and succeeded in you just have to trust me in this video you just have to trust trust me and trust the process of this like self-improvement journey because you're not gonna see results in like a week because it takes longer than that So trust the process. Now I want to talk about the best way to make a ton of progress in a short amount of time and keep doing it. Like not just make a ton of progress and then flatline or even go down. This, you have to do this for most, like, well, you have to, I, I actually haven't had experience with this, right? Cause I've just recently started doing this, but I've made progress. So I'm not gonna say, I'm, I'm not like experienced in the field of like, like how long it takes and stuff, but, um, I know this is like a really good way of making progress because I've made progress through this like wildly. I've, I've become pretty successful in Wait, when did I... Two months, I think, about? About two months. That I've been... That I've been working on this journey. And... I've become... Pretty successful. In, like, the amount of time that it has been, like, two months. Like, come on. <laughs> so... 
the, this best way. I want to draw a little thing for you that I learned like a few a couple weeks ago. It's called, it's kind of, it's something like circle. It has like this name. It's called like some like circle thing, like some like circle drawing or whatever. Um, hold on. So this drawing, this drawing, I don't know if it, it might be blurred, but you get the point. You well, you you see it basically enough that you don't, it doesn't really matter if it's blurred. So this drawing with the circle and the arrows, the one on the right on your right. Actually, wait. No, on your left, probably. The one with the one arrow. This is where you want to be. This is your... This is the path you want to be on. The one with, like, the bunch of arrows... The one with, like, the bunch of arrows. Um, this one. The one on this this side. The one with, like, all the arrows pointing in, like, the little... Like, the little... All the little arrows pointing in different directions. Those are... Ju those add up to all be just as big as that big arrow. But the thing is... How this works is the air an arrow is basically like a topic that you're interested like a topic that you're doing through the day. So your schedule should be um your schedule should be actually no, I'll get to that later. When you put all your see this word I don't know if you can see the word in the middle it says energy your energy if your energy is like this this circle with all the arrows pointing like outwards like all of the different like through a bunch of arrows um they're putting all your energy into a bunch of different places so you're 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 putting all your energy in all these different ones so you're making very like barely any progress in one is single area because there's a bunch of other areas that you're like working on and they're all like super super small progress but the thing is if you compress that all into like one or two arrows like this this one arrow one it's not the greatest because if you put all your energy into like one arrow they're still like depressed and stuff like if you put all your energy into like building like an aesthetic body like all of your energy then like you're gonna be like depressed and stuff but um, you're gonna be, like, depressed and lonely, but, so you still need to stay, like, sufficient in these areas, but you need to have, like, like, two or three, like, two arrows, about two, one to three arrows, that, that, re that are just in one, basically one area, so there's another thing, here, there's another thing that I have, there's, There's this thing I have, I don't know, you, you, yours should be different, probably, like, be honest, but create, I have this thing called, uh, it's like efficiency something, but basically, there's, I have this list of, um, things, I don't know if you can see, but it says work, fitness and health, and family, friends, and hobbies. Now you want to put your all of your 90 90% of your focus into one of these categories. That's how you become this this uh one arrow. You want to put all of your focus into one of these categories. So you create your own category. You don't you don't have to have fitness uh health work family friends hobbies. You could do your have your own different categories. But Put all of your energy into one category. Don't spread it around 
don't be too, don't be like all these like people telling you um oh well you should be balanced that's how you you know you to make a lot of progress you need to put all of your focus into one category so right now for me it's mostly fitness for right now for me it's fitness and health so i'm i've been going to the gym hard you know you should be spending 10 hours of the day 10 hours of the day spending 10 hours of the day on one of these categories now you may be like okay well like what do i like how am i supposed to split like there's like not enough things to do in the day to split like 10 hours okay maybe you be you like there's a couple so there's some things you have to do so like on, a, on like school or like work or something like that you have to go but like 90 percent of your day should be focused on one of these categories so you may be wondering okay well out of this time that i have out of this free time that i have that i don't have to have to do so you're like okay out of this free this the time that i don't have to do anything i don't have to go like to school or whatever um what do i like what are like how am i supposed to like how many things like there you have to have like rest periods for fitness and health right you have to have rest periods for fitness like you can't go to the gym like all day for 10 hours no but there's different things you can do. Like you have to actually do some like research. You have to actually do some research and find a bunch of like find different things that you find different things that are related to these topics. Like learn about fitness, um, go to the gym, like do three workouts. Like you don't need rest. Like you don't need that much rest. Like if you're a healthy person, you don't need that much rest if that's your focus right now. Um, it doesn't have to be super high intensity, but just focus like all of your almost all of your time on one of these categories and just sac almost not sacrifice sacrifice is the wrong word, but just like I said, put ninety percent of your focus into one of these ca one of these categories and then just put um ten percent of your focus into the other ones just to maintain them. If you want to make progress in one category, you have to, um, you have to devote 90% of your time to that category instead of living, like, balanced and doing, like, you know, half and half and third, well, the thirds and split them up. That's how you make a ton of progress. And how do you find which one you have to do, which one you're prioritizing. So it's kind of like priority, right? It is priority. How do you find which one you are prioritizing? So which one do you need to do? So like for me, work, I don't, <clears throat> my throat, bro, my throat's getting so dry, holy. I don't even have, my water's not up here. So I'm like kind of like suffering right now. My throat's so dry. I'm like the third video I'm recording. Um, how do you find out your priority? So, for me, I don't have to work a ton right now. So, like, I'm just doing this to, like, sort of maintain. Um, just so I don't fall back, like, fall down and stuff. But, I don't have to do, like, I don't, my focus is definitely not work right now. Because I'm not, like, living on my own. I don't have to make, like, a ton of money. Because I, like, still live with my parents, obviously, because I'm not, I'm not literally legally not old enough to, so I don't have to focus on work, like, nearly as much as I might sometimes, like, some other, like, in the future. So, work is, work is crossed out for me, right? It might, that might be your focus. So, think, what do I not have to do right now? Like, what... But then, what do I what do I not have to do right now? What what is what do I not have to focus on? What do I already what do I not really need that much? Like not need as much as the other ones. Which one do I need the most? Which one's holding me back? Now, so family, friends, and hobbies. I have a good relation with my family. I have like 
one friend, but I'm not quite as focused in that. And then hobbies, um, well, I don't have one friend. Well, <laughs> I have one really good friend, but that's, that's like, I don't, I'm not super focused on friends. Like, um, that should be like later or whatever. That's not as much of a thing. And then hobbies. So, I mean, I, I like to work hard. So hobbies is kind of crossed out. So for me, it's fitness and health and specifically like bodybuilding and cardio and like health. Well, health, I'm like already structured. So it's mainly like more fitness. So fitness is even more like dropped down into like this little area. So it's like bodybuilding and cardio and like sports and stuff. That's what I'm focused on 90% of my day on right now. This is how you make progress. Think what is the, what is holding me back in one of these categories. So maybe you've been maybe you've been building your dream body for like a year now and you've made like some progress, right? There's this um another thing that I got from this YouTuber Hamza. There's this um like kind of like this uh ladder thing. Oh, crap. <laughs> I messed up. So maybe you've been making Maybe you've been making progress in one category. So maybe your fitness, you've been doing your fitness, you've been bodybuilding for like a year now and you've made a lot of progress. So now your bodybuilding is up here, right? But the problem with this is now you don't need to do bodybuilding because your bodybuilding's up here, but you still can't climb the ladder. Like you don't need to keep focusing on bodybuilding because your bodybuilding is up at the top, but you can't climb the ladder because there's no like place to step on so you need to focus on the other things in life that are holding you back so say you've built your dream body but you're kind of broke now and it's like you're living so you're living on your own you're kind of broke now you built your dream body but you're broke and you can't really like buy equipment to do like all the things you need um you don't you don't like you're kind of broke now right so now you need to focus 90 percent of your time on work or maybe You've like kind of drifted away from your family a little bit. You're kind of like sad about that. Maybe you don't have any friends. Um, maybe you're not having much fun. Maybe that's your focus now. You have to kind of do this for yourself a little bit. I'm just giving you like a little um, example here of me. So right now I'm focused 90% of my time on fitness. Um, like 8% is, or like 7% uh, seven, 7 is on like, work and then three percent is on like family and then like like point actually like two point like i've barely 90 percent of my time is on fitness so if you're the thing is right now if you you're be doing this wrong if you're not disappointed if you're not disappointed and saying like you're not if you're not saying like no but wait you're so i'm not able to do that now you should be disappointed or else you're probably doing it wrong unless you're like a psychopath or something you're like you should be saying like oh now i can't do that now like oh i really want to do that but think like what is really the priority that you need to make a lot of progress in right now what is the priority focus 90 percent of your time on that That's how you make a lot of progress. So consistency, consistency, and then this little priority like table thing I've done for you that you should create for yourself. I hope you've done that already or else you're failed. <laughs> you failed, not yet, you haven't failed yet, but you do it like today at least. Actually, I'm holding you accountable. If you don't do that today, then I don't know if you don't you do that to do it today like actually do it right now do it right now because you're gonna forget about it later today I'm like that like I'll be saying like oh no I'll do it later today and then I'll just forget and like forget about it. I'm like tomorrow I'm like oh I gotta do that today no I didn't do that yesterday okay like okay I gotta do that I gotta um oh crap I gotta go to the gym now though right so okay okay I'll write this down later I'll write this down later on the, then it's the next day and I'm like oh no, 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 no. 
you do this to Find out your priority. Focus 90% of your time on that. Stay consistent. Love the hard work. See you. See you in the next video. Peace.